All right, today we have some new batteries from XZNY. This is a 12.8, 280 amp hour and a 12.8, 310 amp hour. All right, so the really neat thing about these batteries is they are compact. So this is basically like a mini 280 amp hour battery and this is a mini 310 amp hour battery. They seem like they're just slightly larger than you know, our standard, what is it, a group 31 100 amp hour battery. These are very small for this amount of capacity. The other thing that's also pretty cool is like, I've never seen this before, but this is a black satin finish. So this is not the glossy finish that we normally see. I know that doesn't really make a difference as far as how it's going to perform, but it's kind of a neat uh, appearance. Okay, for the 280 amp hour battery, it's showing a recommended charging current at 40 amps, a max continuous charge current of 200 amps, a max continuous discharge current of 200 amps, and a peak discharge current at 500 amps three to five seconds and it says you can place up to four in series to make a 48 volt pack and actually the parameters are the same for both the 280 and the 310 so the charging and discharge parameters are the same all right so let's weigh these guys and we have come in at 55 pounds on the dot for the 280 amp hour and we have 57.2 pounds for the 310 amp hour battery all right so let's charge the 310 amp hour battery up All right, so the 310 amp hour battery is now all charged up. I've got it hooked up to my shunt and I've got it set to 310 amp hours. And so let's go ahead and turn on the inverter. And then we'll turn on the air conditioner. Go ahead and turn that all the way down because it's not very hot outside right now. We want to make sure the air conditioner actually runs. All right, so we're drawing power. Looks like we're doing over 400 watts. Let me see if I can turn the air conditioner up a little bit more. All right, it's on high. And 460 watts. That might be all I can get out of it today. It's, like I said, it's not hot outside. All right, so I'll just let that continue to run and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, we are down to 1%. Uh, we have 3.8 amp hours left to go. Our voltage still looking pretty solid. Uh, so getting really close. Uh, so the shunt is now saying we're at zero. Uh, however, we still have 2.7 amp hours left to go. All right, uh, now we have just 0.4 amp hours left. Uh, so this is coming up on completion here. Here we go. Almost there. And there we go. We just discharged a full 310 amp hours. Uh, so this battery does pass the capacity test. And uh, we're still going. It's got some left in there for sure, no doubt. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and kill the test because there's no point. This thing is not actually going to tell us uh, any more data. All right, so now we've got the 280 up on the bench and we're going to do a capacity test on it as well. So let's go ahead and, oh, before I do that, 
I did change my shunt to 280 amp hour. Uh, that way our percentage meter here will be correct. So let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. And then let's turn our air conditioner on. And we are pulling some watts. Yep, looks like we're getting a little bit higher wattage today because it is a little bit warmer. All right, so I'll just let that run and I'll be back. Okay, uh, so we're at 0% and we still have 0.8 amp hours left to go. All right, here we go. And there it is. We have pulled a full 280 amp hours out of this battery. So this battery passes the capacity test as well. All right, so we got the lid ready to be removed here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we have a really large, what is this? Oh, it's a one aught gauge, 200 Celsius silicone jacketed wire. <laughs> That's pretty beefy. And then on the negative, we've got a bundle of six gauge. So there's three six gauge, 200 Celsius silicone jacketed wire. And here's our BMS. Uh, it says. XZNY branded. The model is XZ4S200A163. Looks like it says a 200 amp charge, 200 amp discharge. And here's our cells. So these are, you know, large prismatic cells, 280 amp hour cells in this one here. So I do see a thermal sensor cable right here it's going underneath this piece of fiberboard so I think I'm gonna have to try to lift this off or maybe it'll come out no oh, there it is so there's a sensor right there uh, so let's test low temperature protection all right so we are putting in 29.2 amps this is upside down sorry for that uh, let me go ahead and freeze this sensor up and there we go so it does indeed have a uh, low temp charging protection all right guys so i think that's going to wrap up the video let me know what you think about these compact 280 and 310 amp hour batteries. I'll leave links in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.